stars it's over did you have fun did you get everything out of your system i good good everyone is so relieved welcome home pig
that puts him in school, the clothes on his back, damn roof over his head, and he has the nerves to give me looks like that? And what's really pissing me off is you always defending him. He's our boy, our son. Ain't no son of mine with dirty looks like that. John, how can you say that? You ought to be corrected and you know it, Meb. No, he's done no wrong. You back talking me? I won't let you hurt. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Go to your room! What? Hush up now. Go on up, Chef. Let Mama handle this. It'll be alright. <laughs> I told you 
you were sitting on that abortion, but you were too worried about legality. Hey, <laughs> that's a that boy, John. How much? He's lucky I don't go out there and do it myself. Why would you do that again? He's never did anything wrong. Nothing wrong? He did something I didn't like. I'm the one to provide. Reason enough for me. He obviously has to learn this place, and I'm gonna go teach it to him. And you won't get in my way if you know what's best for you. <sighs> Diane! Diane, are you there? Diane, I need you. Uh, Jack? Diane! Thank God! Thank God, Diane! Okay, Diane! Diane, you're gonna save me, right? I called you and you, you're coming to get me? Oh, Jack, why did you call me? I live in Chicago. I can't save you. You didn't pick up. Right. It went to voicemail. Yeah. And then... I went back in the pool. It's too late. What's done is done. I can do Bo Jack. I'm not real. None of this is. So what do I do now? Bo Jack, it doesn't matter. Well, if it doesn't matter, can I stay on the phone with you at least? Okay. How was your day? Good. Yeah. Yeah. My day was good. Sweetie, how was your day at school? <gasps> Alistair! Oh my goodness. What happened? I got in a fight. Oh, Alistair, not again. So, what started today's scrap? Those stupid Friedrich brothers and their stupid sister. What did they do this time? They saw me looking for some worms outside. I showed it to them. She knocked it out of my hand. So I pushed her down, and her brother started hitting me. Alistair, no, sir! That was not the right thing to do at all. You don't push girls down, let alone hurt them. Especially all over a worm. But... But Papa said... None of that now. Come sit in Mama's lap and have a listen. 
whatever nonsense your pa started out at you, forget it. As a young man who will grow up to be brave and strong, you have to look after those weaker than you. You do the gentleman thing and offer a helping hand, never a hurtful one. And don't worry, sweetie, Mama will help you learn what to do. She knows best, after all. Ain't that right? That... that stupid girl didn't have to hit me. Oh, I see. Alistair, did it scare you when she smacked your hand? <laughs> there, there. Mama's got you, mon petit home. Mama's always got you. It's all right, dear. You feel a little better, sugar? Mm. Now? Where's that handsome smile gone? Mm. Mama! Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, there it is. I know what else will cheer you up. Would you like to help me cook dinner? Yes, Mama! <laughs> My, you're sparkling now, boy. I'm giving you the important task of adding all the veggies. Remember to wash your hands first. Yes, Mama. Now, let's get to it, my little helper. Now, Alistair, I need you to be on your especially best behavior tonight at dinner. Papa had a bad day at work again? He did. So remember your manners. Up straight, no elbows on the table, and keep quiet. But Mama, what if he- No buts, Alistair. It'll be alright. Yes, Mama. <sighs> Fetch me another beer, will you, darling? Yes, sir. Good girl. <gasps> the hell are you looking at? <gasps> hey, I asked you a goddamn question. John! Don't think I missed that little sneer you gave me. John, please, he's done nothing wrong. Oh, 
It's because of North. I'm sure you've all noticed that Alistair's been gone for seven years straight. North has been gone for seven years straight. And now we have Huskers coming with him being on a leash. Maybe he got a little too ballsy and challenged Lillard. Maybe she approached him. What we know is, he showed up at the Hasbro Hotel and has been protecting Charlie this entire time. With little to no incentive to do so, he'll play it off as, oh, I'm just doing this for my entertainment. But he's much more intricate than that. Meanwhile, the ex-husband of the woman who has you in chains shows up like the big man of the place, and now there's two possibilities. Alistair could be projecting his hatred of Lilith on her ex-husband, or him and Lilith are pretty close and she's been telling him about all the deadbeat shit that he's been up to. Proxy beef? Uh, Alistair hates Lucifer because Lilith hates Lucifer? What is this beef? <laughs> Either way, it birthed this beautiful screenshot and gave us one of the best songs in the entire show. What do you think? Is Alistair projecting or is he just for the girls? I take contact with us and these few topics are like to hear from you. He's so fun! Hey there, thanks for watching. Check these videos out next. Also stay tuned for my next latest upload. 